Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Property Management 101, and today's video will be discussing best practices for handling your parking permits. If you've already done so, please watch my disclosure video as well as my why I do this video. And if you found this video helpful and learned something new, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. This video will apply to anyone in the property management industry that has to issue parking permits to their residents. Number one best practice to keep in mind when managing your parking permits, you really want to find and determine a consistent spot that's easy to see. You want your residents to display their permit that's easy to see in a consistent spot. This is really important because if you have to enforce it or if there's a towing company involved or your staff is involved or a courtesy officer, having a consistent spot will really minimize any type of mistakes or any type of permits that could be potentially missed. I personally like using the hanging parking permits from the rear view mirror more than other types of permits that are out there. I find that they have good visibility and they're easy to change out if a resident switches out vehicles. I have used stickers and other things in the past and even though they're slightly cheaper, I have found that there's a lot more issues that go along with these different types of permits. For example, they can be easily stolen or their placement of the permit can be inconsistent. Number two best practice to keep in mind when managing your parking permits, make them easy to change. Oftentimes, residents will have unexpected times that they'll need to change out their vehicles. They'll need a rental car, they'll buy or receive a new vehicle, they'll borrow someone else's vehicle. And due to this, you really wanna make sure it's easy for that resident to easily take their parking permit and move it from one vehicle to another. In the event they're not able to change it out easily from one vehicle to another, you could see where this, if you're enforcing parking, could come into an issue. So making sure that your permit, whatever you issue to your residents, is something that's easily movable for them is really important. Number three best practice to keep in mind when issuing your parking permits, have a process to update them. I wouldn't recommend not having a process to periodically change and update the permits your residents have. I believe the best time to change out the permits is at the start of every calendar year. That way, if it's if you're updating them throughout the year, like when a resident renews or something like that, you could see where this could be confusing for your staff or anyone else that's enforcing parking to determine, hey, which parking permit are we enforcing, which one are we not enforcing, and that type of thing. In student housing, I would recommend updating the parking permits as the new semester starts. So this is typically done in August for most uh, student housing markets, but if, if your market maybe start in September or even early in July, then I would recommend those times where you have your big move-ins to issue due parking permits then. If you have any questions about this video or any of my videos, feel free to comment and I'll be happy to address them for you. And if you found this video helpful and learned something new, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Happy leasing.